It took us a little while to reprogram these and rebind them to our transmitter, but we're finally going to get a chance to see how they fly. I'm going to have to fly them with the gloves on because it is very cold out today, so I don't know how good of a flight this is going to be, but let's check them out and see how they fly. Okay, I'm a real big fan of ducted fan aircraft, <laughs> so I'm real curious about how this thing's going to perform. So I've got to take the gloves off, man. I need the dexterity to fly this thing. But I tried the QX70 that only had 3.7 volts of power, and it was just way too underpowered. And, you know, honestly, I love ducted fan aircraft. It's an awesome concept, so I'm really glad to see one with a 7.4 volt battery on it. And, you know, right out of the box, I can really tell you that I can see the power. I am able to control this thing move it around at a decent rate of speed. It's not super fast, and it does bottom out a little bit, but man, I have got the control over this thing. I mean, seriously, compared to like the QX90 or the QX95 or something like the Esheen Brushless 130, I mean, they're fast and they're awesome and they're easy to control, but the amount of control that the FB90 has given me, I mean, look at this. I'm just able to do a quick, sharp turn and go straight back through the cabana and then pop another quick turn and then just race straight back through. I mean, I've been flying for 10 years. You know, I've got some decent skill. I can tell you if an aircraft sucks or not within about a minute or so. But, I mean, this ability to fly in and out of these pylons like this... I really have to thank the ducted fans on this aircraft and the stability and, you know, just the, the, the turning capabilities that this thing has. It does not over-yaw. Um, because it's so heavy, whenever you start on a turn, you're really not going to shoot up into the air like you do with a lot of, you know, a lot of other triple-bladed aircraft and uh, brushless aircraft, you know, it just... I mean, honestly, it could use a little more power. It would be nice to see this in an 11.1 volt power system. Really curious, but honestly, when it comes to uh, control, I mean, if this thing was faster, I mean, this would be the way to do brushless racing. I mean, I've really got some serious control. Now, the camera is recording, you know, some pretty decent video through the... Uh, diversity uh, monitor that I have set up right there and it's um, you know not quite as good of a signal through the VR glasses that I'm wearing that's why I'm keeping it close I was getting a lot of static I wasn't on the uh, cleanest channel but I have to say the camera you know performs pretty well for a uh, tiny all-in-one camera and we're starting to bottom out there so we're losing voltage so let's go ahead and bring it in for a landing and the ducts really help there when you run into things but I have to say I'm very impressed with what I am experiencing here when it comes to flight and control after 10 years of flight I have never had a flight experience quite like this I'm looking forward to more ducted fan FPV aircraft a little bit more power, you know, and I mean, this thing would be a serious competitor. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, you know, that's a good flight experience. All right, let's go ahead and stop recording that video and move on to the QX90C. Now, the QX90 was a real sensation. It was their first nano brushed FPV racer, so kind of looking forward to getting a good test flight of this uh, upgraded version. It's got a solid plastic body instead of a carbon fiber frame and a Nice battery mount. It's quite cold, but we need the dexterity to fly, so let's arm it and give it a little test flight. Right out of the box, it's got a lot more power than that FB90 does. I mean, this thing's going to be a lot faster, although it is going to raise up into the air on sharp turns, unlike that FB90 it was so heavy it was able to kind of stay nice and level whenever I do a sharp turn here got about 10 extra feet of altitude there because it's so light and it's got so much power but let's see if we can get a nice full speed run up here and try not to run into anything like a trio no ah! i have to say the fb90 flew awesome it's very maneuverable lots of fun great little aircraft 
Maybe not the fastest little rocket in the world, but definitely easy to fly, easy to maneuver. The CX-10C also flew really nice, but I only got a meh, about 30 seconds worth of flight before I hit that tree. And that little hit knocked out the camera. You can see a little component shaking loose there. So we're gonna have to solder in a new camera to get a little bit better flight out of this. But I'll have to say with the uh, minutes worth of flight that I had with the CX-10C before I took the camera out, you know, it was a really nice flying aircraft. Very smooth, very maneuverable, very fast, lots of power. I think it's a nice improvement on the CX-10C. The camera mount leaves a little bit to be desired. That little component broke off because the camera slipped back like that whenever it hit the tree and that just kind of knocked it off. So I'll solder on a new camera, but definitely a nice little aircraft, definitely worth checking out. As always, we appreciate you tuning in to RC101 with the Dallas Flyer. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.